The EU's inaugural Gulf envoy talks cooperation relations during his first visit to Qatar. Doha injects $30 million worth of fuel aid into the Lebanese army as Beirut faces an ongoing energy crisis. Did you hear? Using dashboard monitors and mounted phones while driving could leave you with a fine. And in sports, Al Garrafa signs Brazilian center back Lianco from Southampton FC. Hi, it's Fatma, and you're watching the roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar and the European Union explored the latest regional and international developments during an official visit to Doha on Wednesday as the bloc seeks to boost its ties with the Gulf region. The discussions took place in the Qatari capital between Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani and the EU's Special Representative for the Gulf region Luigi Di Maio. The Italian diplomat assumed his role as the EU's first envoy for the Gulf in May in a bid to solidify ties and cooperation between the two regions. Over in Lebanon, Qatar Fund for Development has announced a $30 million fuel aid package for the Lebanese army. This comes as Lebanon continues to face a protracted energy and economic crisis. The six-month arrangement underscores Qatar's ongoing commitment to bolstering Lebanon's institutions. Last year, Qatar Fund for Development extended its support to the Lebanese Ministry of Public Health, shouldering the fuel expenses for numerous hospitals and healthcare centers. And now, drivers spotted interacting in any way with visual devices while behind the wheel face a fine. The law prohibits the use of car dashboard screens as well as mobile phones even if mounted. Both violations will be picked up by the radar system. That's according to comments at Rayan TV by the Chief of Radar Operations at the General Traffic. Last week, the Ministry of Interior announced a new automated surveillance system that tracks traffic violations, focusing primarily on failure to wear the seatbelts and use of mobile phones while operating a vehicle. And finally, Al Garrafa has officially signed the Brazil Brazilian center back Lianco from Southampton FC. The 26 year old completed a loan transfer this week for a one year period. El Garrafa ranks fifth in the Expo Stars League and is set to compete in its third game against El Ahli next Friday. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.